Just keep running this shit, man. It's your first project. So, you got a lot of space for, for fuck ups. And you equally, got, you got a lot of time to. You got a lot of time to. Um, <laughs> Bro, I done already told you this probably a thousand times, but that project is fucking heat. Cause I'm very proud of you. So I gotta ask, brother, what inspired the album? Um, life, really, man. Just live. Like, I mean, most artists know. Like, sometimes you write, you get a writer's block. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, common cure for cure writer's block is just simply living. Like if you one of those that write about what you go through, you mm -hmm. gotta live a little bit of life. And it was these last couple years been rough, and this is pretty much what it translated into. So. This is the Survivor's Guild listening to party. I'm about to start the first rotation. Um, a little bit of insight. Um, took me about two years to put this album together, produce the whole thing. Me and Wade Parker collab on the intro. Um. It's a lot that went into it, like, you know, like literal blood, sweat, tears, um, a lot of time, money. Like, if you've ever created an album, or this period, period, you know what comes with this shit. Um, he lost my boy SG last Easter. Um, he got out of prison around this time from a two year bid and then died on Easter. So, like, we didn't have him for Christmas, we didn't have him for New Year's, none of our birthdays, none of that shit. We didn't get to bury him, none of that, like, um, we can't get a hold of his music, none of that shit, like, you feel me? And I'm saying all this, like, you feel me? Just so, like, y'all can understand, like, the importance of, like, just, like, you gonna hear him out throughout, like, the album and shit, like, like, as soon as the album start, like, we, you know, like, you'll hear him, but, like, outside of the songs that I just played, like, those little snippets, like, once I release this shit, like, that's all we got for him, like, you know, like, and the songs that y'all just heard, y'all probably won't, probably won't hear him too, like, God willing, we make it. So we're like, his family can actually benefit from this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. but, um, because that's how we got, you know what I'm saying? But, um, we gonna take a little ride. It's, um, it's four phases to this. Um, I got caged. I got rage. I got war. We got lit forever, you know? Um, it's kind of in order. You know, you gonna feel the vibe when you hear the songs and shit. You know, um, I just want y'all to just hear me out one time, you know, and just feel me. It's been rough. My little brother right here got shot. Sorry to call you my little brother, but he hate when I do that shit. <laughs> my brother over here got hit. He's still here. Our other brother, Nye, got hit, died three times. He's still here. You feel me? Like, you feel me survivors? Like, so pretty much, you know, let's get into it. How'd you put out the project? It's dope. I love it. I'm proud of him. That shit's special, bro. Like, it is. And I, I keep telling him that. And I'm like, bro, I'm not. I ain't gassing it, bro. Like, this shit real. It's everywhere. You get a little bit of everything. For real. I feel like it was some good versatility in myself, bro. You get real variety, so. I mean, I, mean, I knew it was going to be amazing. You're not just saying it because you're on it. I mean, I'm not just saying it because he's my cousin, because I love him, I'm on it, I'm biased, none of that. It's really just an amazing project. Like, for it to be called Survivor's Guilt, it's for the mm -hmm. survivors, like he said, and that shit hella relatable no matter where you come from. Facts. Because like he said, we all survive something no matter how big, how small it you is. Can't, you can't keep living and not have survived something. Exactly, exactly. exactly. I feel like he's uh, showing some growth, especially, I mean, it's hard to not show growth with okay. the first project. And I feel like he showed more than just like, this being a first project. Mm -hmm. Exactly. At some point in your life, you're gonna survive something, and I just, I, I just feel like this shit is real, really magical, and I feel like he really um, embodied that, like that, that survivor's perspective. Like he really right. put it in a, in a, in a way that I think people gonna really resonate with. For sure. Very much so. Like for a debut, mm -hmm. that's a hell of a debut. Amen. Amen. My debut ain't look like that. Okay. Right. Like he, where he's starting at is already so Colin, who you high. Like quality wise, I, I can't wait to hear the second and the third and the fourth. Is there a particular track that you're most proud of? Uh, oh, I'm I'm very proud of uh, Survivor's outro. Okay. I'm proud. I didn't have. I, was I didn't have. One, there was not one drum on it. It's all melody, no drum. Mm. So yeah, so I'm proud of it. And it was. It's crazy because before I even dropped on it, like I was, 
I had it for about a year and I was just shopping it around and people were like mm. nobody can rap on it. Mm. And I'm just like, fuck it, it must be meant for me. Like, exactly, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, and that's what it came to. So like, versus telling. You I, heard think that it I think it combinated into something beautiful for real. You got a lot of time to um to keep building on what you're doing. You are, you're a great producer, so hell yeah. Keep doing that, keep writing, keep talking crazy to niggas. Pretty much like a lift, like the intro, and this one was pretty much like you know, um, just pretty much warm me all up. Uh, hit was pretty much give you more of a feel like of the cage phase, pretty much for like landing me there and shit like that, like street activity and shit like that. So now we getting into like those feelings, you know what I'm saying? When the shit hit the fan and all that, and like you feel me, people start disappearing and all that shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And the leaders need to be led, but ain't nobody there to lead them. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, uh, you got a favorite track yet? I don't know the names of none of the songs. Right, it's too new. It's too new. So. Man, you know, I gotta be biased no more. Since <laughs> hey, uh, he was able to be unbiased, nah. I can hold you to the same mistake. You know, outside the ones I'm on. Got you, I got you. Nah, honestly, though, it's funny you say that because this shit that he got with Siri, he got two tracks with Siri. Mm -hmm. I fuck with Dark Days a mm -hmm. lot. Like, that's that I really fuck with that. Okay. Um, but honestly, no, I'm gonna say. I think that Lost, uh, I think it's called Lost Rose. Okay. But this is for my Lost Rose. Yeah. So I think that's the one that hit me the most. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, he was really, he was really feeling it out on that one. For sure, for sure. We gotta wait till midnight. But I did tell him, I think it was like the second song. Okay. Yeah. Is it the second or the third song that was my favorite track? Y'all gonna have to figure out which one it is yeah, at some point. Make sure y'all tap in. Not Okay is my favorite track. Like, heard. I heard he that's, performed that before that shit came out. That's my joint. Yeah. That's my joint right nah, there. That shit is like, when I seen him performing, I was like, yo, he got one. Like, and that I didn't even know him. Yeah. That, that motherfucker potent. Yeah, nah. <laughs> that shit's crazy. I feel like that that's the perfect song to like uh, encapsulate the entire project. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Get the signature. Mm, and that's probably like why it's right in the middle, too. That's true. You, got, you might have did it that way, for real. What do you want your audience <coughs> to take away from your project? Uh, that you can just keep going. Like, you know, like, you go through shit. Um, you go through shit and you can choose to either like crash out mm -hmm. or you can choose to like suck that shit up and keep going or just choose another outlet and to translate it into something else. Right. And that's pretty much what I did. And it took a lot of practice. I'm used to handling shit violently. Me and my niggas used to handling shit violently. So like it's new, but like doing this, like it's, it's different, but it feel good though. Like I, it definitely, it definitely feel different after I drop like certain songs and shit. Oh, yeah. So. That's all I can really say for real. I've been, you know what I'm saying, I'm tapped in. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know the man. You know the man. You know what I'm saying? But so you know it's only more to come. Yeah, it's, it's you're doing everything. So keep doing everything. Keep getting greater. So like, yeah, I was trying to like, so at this point in the album, I'm kind of like, um, <laughs> this is really like my, um, this is my debut album, but this is also like my breakout, like really as a producer. I got like a few, like his and I, I'm, I'm calling him his for, you know, manifestation all this shit. Man, he is what it is. But I got a few slappers in the air, but like this really like, at this point in the album, like we got past all the pain part. We just shining on niggas now. So like, I'm kind of like flexing that producer muscle, like throughout this, the rest of this album and shit. So this next one, this is, um, yeah, we getting into the live forever. Yeah, this is about live forever. Yeah, we about live forever for sure. But well, we got a couple dark tracks. We got like one more. It ain't even. I wouldn't call it dark track. Nah, we in live forever. I would say we in live forever for sure. For sure. So we in the brighter side of the album. What would you say would be a goal or a couple goals that you seek to achieve with this project? Um, I really just want to get myself out there as like a producer as well. Like as a prominent producer, I feel like I got my own sound. I feel like nobody sound like me. Don't nobody think like me. Um, and I feel like I definitely like, not necessarily set a standard, but I feel like I'm definitely different. Like, and I don't sound like nobody. I can't, I ain't heard nobody I sound like yet. Um, but it's like, so that's part of the thing that I wanted to bring with this album. I wanted to just like shit, like, kind of like shed light on like that producer muscle. Yeah. And I also just wanted to, like people to show like, I mean to show people just a little bit of versatility, like, so you notice, like, we had, like, hardcore, like, we had, like, trap shit on there, right. we had some R&B on there, we had, like, some motivational music, like, we had, like, 
a little bit of everything. Like, you know, like I just want to show like some versatility. Okay. I don't want all my stuff to like sound the same. I want to be able to like, you play any type of beat, you know, you know make something like, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. And I mean, I, I can, I can say, come on, man. You already, you already out there a little bit, but I mean, you, you, you just now, like you said, it's for the producer. Yeah. So you just showing yeah, off Yeah, I mean, I got, I got, uh, Best new, I got nominated for best new artist, which is pretty big because I really yeah. didn't even drop any songs like in like two that's, years. That's I new. haven't dropped any songs since like No Ice, mm. and that's that. And that's so just like, work with other motherfuckers. I mean, yeah. So like, mm. I wasn't really tripping. And shout out shows, like shows winning shows. I think shows mm. hit a shows doubled up. I think shows had a video in the mm. video of the year and fucking uh, best new artist or song of the year or some shit. But shout out to TV shows and pro label, but. You were like I like I said in the interview, like you really embody what it means to be a survivor. Like niggas say he walking in now. Niggas know, like for real, nah, nah, nah. Niggas know what it is to be a survivor. And niggas know that you really, really live that. Like really came from that. So I feel like uh, you should be proud of yourself. You in your superstar moment, for real, Brody. So just run this shit up. I think everybody in the family is proud of you. It's amazing because we know your growth for real outside of everything. Essentially, it's two more tracks. And then I got a bonus track with uh, my dog Fang and my brother that I also produced. We also got a song, me and bro got a song called Creep, and this is Creep too, but not right now, but at the end. But this next one is pretty much my mom speaking. Um, she pretty much telling y'all how she felt like the day I got locked up, how she feels today, but you know. And then we gonna go into the uh, outro, and I'ma just let it run, that's why I'm explaining both of them to you. The outro is called Survivor's Outro. Um, I designed it to pretty much be sort of like an anthem. I wanted it to be easy to remember, you know what I'm saying? And, um, but I also want it to be like, you know, heartfelt because I really do, you know, we are survivors. We all don't survive some type of something, you know what I'm saying? Something that's supposed to break us. Like, we, you know, we beat that shit, you know? No matter how big or small it is, like, so this is, you know, this last, like, this last track, the uh, Survivor's outro. It's for not just me, but for everybody, for my brothers, you know, like, here and gone. So we're going to run my mom, and then we're going to, this is going to ride into the next one. So when you first got locked up, I, I was in class. I remember I was in class, and I was looking for you. And I talked to DJ, and he said, oh, TJ, just got locked up. I was jokingly, and I was like, pissed off. I was like, what? And I was like, why didn't nobody call me? And then I literally was like running around from, I ran, I went to District 4, I think that is over in Madisonville, or Madison Road or somewhere, or Erie. I went there. And you weren't there. I went to Silverton, you weren't there. And then I went down to the Justice Center. And I was just pissed off because I, I just felt like I couldn't breathe or anything. I just felt like, I don't know, I just, my heart was like hurting. I just felt really bad. And then when I finally found you, I just cried. I just cried, cried, cried. And during that time, I, I felt like I wouldn't have breakdowns. So I didn't really want to be around anybody at all because I would have breakdowns. Now that you are hung, I'm, I'm just overjoyed. Just every time I, I do different things with, that involve all my children, I just love it. I just love having you hung. I'm proud of you, and, and I'm just happy.
hard to feel, huh? <laughs> From where you've been, where we started, where you are now, it's amazing. You're about to do incredible things. I believe in you. I love you. This is just the beginning. Now everybody else know what we've been through. And you just got to keep going, because like they said, you are unstoppable. Love you. And there you have it, people. It's been Lord Ace with the Queen City of Money. Ty, 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 Ty. Okay. Y'all catch y'all with the next one. Stay tuned. Thank you, Queen. Of course. Of course. Always.